It's normal for influencers to keep surprising their fans with new and unexpected announcements. I decided to keep Power's face a secret for a long time. Now, I'm ready to show the whole entire world. But no one does this quite like Raki Giovanni. I've been gone for a while, but now I'm back. Let's take a look back at Raki's journey and see the biggest bombshells that she has dropped. Back in 2019, Raki shocked her fans by going under the knife and getting a breast augmentation. So, what can we do for you? I came for consultation because I want It's saggy and flat. I don't have any meat or collagen. I don't know what that is. So I came for options. In your case, you're so fit and so lean that as you've lost weight, the breast probably, you're probably smaller than you were when you weren't as fit. Sounds like we're talking about some sort of breast lift, breast augmentation, or, or combination of the two. There's something in there because it's still super flat. There's nothing okay. there. And although she was deliberating whether to go ahead with the procedure. This feels real. I mean, as real as it gets. We gotta think about it. We gotta think. A lot of people love the natural way that I've lost weight, the natural way that I've created my body, what I've done, the hard work that I've applied. The last thing I want is anyone to discredit me because I want to do something. I want to add, do a little modification to myself. Honestly, I do have a lot of doubts. Raki decided that this was the best option for her. Okay, remember I spoke to like everybody a little bit about the augmentation that I wanted to do yes. and in honor I didn't wear a bra today. Okay. I, you know, I was in doubt. But I think I'm gonna do it. Oh, you should. I'm so happy for you. I'm glad that you made that decision for yourself. Okay. Yes. Friendship, happiness. And she never looked back. And I have just arrived to get these flapjacks done. You have to learn how to love your body in every stage that it goes through, regardless of where you are in your journey. Because your body is the only thing you own, the only thing you have, the only thing you will have. I love my Moving forward to 2020, something we all don't want to be reminded of, lockdown. So luckily, this outfit is black, so you can't really see like the issues that I can see. So my stomach is at least four inches bigger than it usually is. My arms, which is my problematic area, is bigger. And then I got this back fat right here. Chichos that never existed. The lockdown hasn't been easy. The gyms are closed. I have like a garage gym, but then there's things that I don't have, which is cardio machines. Like the rest of us, Rocky struggled to stay in shape. It's natural that I've gained some weight because of the quarantine. But now I'm gonna go to the gym to gauge exactly where I stand physically. All right, you guys, let's just jump straight into it. I'm going to dive straight into a sumo squat. I'm gonna get into lunges. What is happening right now? I don't know if it's the heat. I think it's probably because I haven't been training, you know, as effective as I probably would have been if the quarantine wasn't happening. But she knew she needed to do something to get her body back. I'm going to try and do 500 squats in 30 minutes or less. So we're gonna see if I can do it without canceling out. I guess we're gonna start. I'm scared. Damn, that was a hundred. Come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Yo, I got five left. Three, four, five. That's it, you guys. I capped out, 500. After the pandemic, Raki had managed to keep some big news a secret. Come on, you can do it. Let's go. What if I hurt myself? Well, I doubt you will, because the old Rocky wouldn't. So I'm assuming you can't do that. You won't do that. I got to go from here, and I got to jump up, right? Yeah. Hold on. I'm scared. You scared? Why are you scared? Like, you got to understand, Ron, you forgetting that I just had a kid. I just 
just had a baby. So, there's a really good reason why I've been missing on Instagram, why I've been missing on social media, and why I've kind of like been distant from even my friends, like my family. This is the reason why I can't wait to tell you guys! And although it was a scary birth, this is Power Romiliano Ali. And he was born at 27 weeks. So he was born at two pounds and one ounce. It's very small. It's like a little bit longer than the size of my hand. And our journey was very um, stressful. And, it, and it's 100% the reason why I put on a lot of weight. 94 days in the hospital, you, there, like, there's no working out. And he had um, about three blood transfusions, a heart, he had two heart surgeries. He was on oxygen, high oxygen support for like 65 days and he was incubated. I literally thought like a lot of times that my baby was not gonna have to come home, but not my baby. Rocky now has a beautiful baby boy. My baby's a champion, a champion. That's why his name is Power. So the name Power came about way before I got pregnant. I knew I wanted a crazy name. It really came down to nobody being named Power. Not to mention, that's his future. It's gonna be powerful. And after seven months of keeping power to herself, Raka decided to surprise her fans by sharing him with the world. Girl, today is so important. This is Power's first photo shoot since his birth, and I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, like literally since he's been in the hospital. So why did you wait so long to show Power? I decided to keep Power's face a secret for a long time because Honestly, it really just boiled down to protecting my son. I didn't want to show him on social media. I didn't want a picture of him floating around, especially when he was in the hospital. I'm just a very private person as well. So when I'm ready is when I'll do it. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm super excited. And I'm kind of ready because I want to see everybody's reaction when they see how cute he is. Showing power space to everybody for the first time is gonna be really exciting for me. He really does look like his dad, so try to figure it out. And finally, we look back at the time when Raki's fans started to become unsure of her gender. A lot of women want my body. Michelangelo's got nothing on me. I'm a body sculptor, but people are questioning my gender. What? And I never wanted to look like a man. Why would I want to be a man? I want to look like Superwoman. I want to look strong, you know? I started getting comments online that really, really hurt. It made me not want to go to the gym anymore, for real. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to open my mouth around people. I started getting scared. There was a turning point when I decided to change my habits in order for me to feel better. Raki decided to turn these comments from a negative to a positive and prove her fans wrong. I was smart enough to realize that there's always gonna be haters out there. But actually I loved my body. I just needed to find a way to embrace my feminine side within my gym life. Now I'm getting myself ready before I go to the gym. I'm still gonna train hard, but the last thing you're gonna expect is this like bombshell coming in there squatting, templates, you know what I mean? I just started paying more attention to myself. My style now is the best it's ever been, <laughs> okay? This is one of my new favorite dresses. It's very feminine, very sexy, very bold. And it lets you know, it lets all the men know and everybody in the room that there's a woman in here. Now I can get all the attention. You can look at me now and say, whoa, she's strong, but dang, she's pretty or she's cute or like, oh, what's up? I'm very, very, very happy where I am. It's really important because femininity is power. It's power, and that's your crown. You can be strong and be beautiful.